Are you ready to go in Israel? What's this? It's the free pass to go in Israel. This is Israel. So at any rate, right on the other side, you see where the flag is. Inside, that's the Western Wall, or the Wailing Wall, as it's called. That's where Jews would always come to pray. At any rate, there was a whole Muslim neighborhood here that was taken out illegally, without any permission by anybody, uh, while the war was still going on. It was the first act, let's say, that had nothing to do with fighting during the war. So it was the first act of occupation. There were 350 families living here, and the whole neighborhood is bulldozed. There are thousands of people who come to visit But also, also So this is the Silwan village in front of us. It's Silwan is probably 10,000, 15,000 people. And then there's the whole area, see the mosque here, so the whole area down below, well, we'll see it from, from below a little bit better, to the old city is all designated to be taken out to become an archaeological park. This was an, an apartment building with 21 apartments. And again, the reason was not terrorism. The reason was the lack of a building permit. But it's like I say, all the houses around here that you see all have demolition orders. When your house is demolished, it's a financial ruin. You have to pay for the demolition of the home. You pay for it. That's a Palestinian neighborhood called Jabal Mukabir, where there's been a lot of house demolitions. But right in the middle is this huge settlement that's being built. All this is over the 1967 Green Line. So all of this is an occupied territory. Demolished four times. This house is now in danger again because about a month ago, Salim and Arabia lost a Supreme Court appeal on the house. So we're so we're afraid that the house can be demolished for the fifth time. I bought this piece of land where we are here now, and like anybody in the world, I applied to get a building permit to build a house on this piece of land. I applied three times, but all the time it has been refused by the Israeli authorities. I know that you will never give me any building permit. I will build my home. I will build the home, and the God will help me after me.
básicamente tres motivos por los cuales la ley permite demoler. Una es por falta de licencia, otra es, bueno, este, lo que se llama por punishment, se trata de familias de terroristas o de gente sospechosa de estar involucrada en terrorismo, y está la tercera que es en el medio de una acción bélica. This is the march here. Yeah. In many stages of his life. At the same night, they came and demolished the house. The same night? At the same night, yes. They destroyed everything. When I came to the door of the door, we opened them and opened them. We came to the door of the door, and we came to the door, and we came to the door. They ordered them to get out of the house, and they came to the door. They came to the door, and they came to the door. They came to the door, and they came to the door, and they came to the door, and they came to the door, أنا بدي أفجر لك البيت طبعا واحد ابنه بيز عليه ابنه واحد أما خلص يعني صار اللي صار شو يعمل واحد هذا احتلال بدنا نقاوم كيف مكان يعني بأي طريقة يعني أنت واحد يجي يأخذ بيتك بتضلك ساكت This building is uh, damaged by uh, soldiers of Israel. How many people lived here? Twelve. Twelve, Twelve people. The yeah. same family? Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they just came here and destroyed the house. Yeah. But they said there's a fighter here. We want it. Okay. But there is no fighters in the real. No fighters in this family.
Come in the school bus and from uh, here begin. Uh, when uh, the people uh, get out uh, from uh, from house, they begin to shoot. Yeah. Uh, the windows are begin. Uh, we don't the feel it inside. The house. Uh huh. And then Mustafa, man. Ah, they shot in the cistern because you here kept keep the water. Who was the the fighters in this case? That's the fighter. <laughs> he came to the house. He came to the house and asked them about uh, about Ahmad. He was not at home at that time. He was in Ramallah because he is an employee of the Palestinian Authority. He's an officer. Yes, at the Palestinian police. And after uh, Ahmad, it has been arrested or something like that. Which <laughs> down by his by the name of his grandfather and he is already died okay now the house they registered down now by the name of his of his uncle and they said the demonstration will be about because it says there is no an official permission permission yes des explosifs. Elles mettent des explosifs et elles, elles font sauter la maison. Euh, dans ce deuxième intifada, et pendant les années 90, il y avait euh, certaines des maisons des activistes qui ont été démolies. Euh, il y a des maisons qui ont été brûlées entièrement par euh, des, des, des missiles ou des, euh, des balles flamboyantes. Each one of you has a story of violation of human rights. You are the story of Palestine. So speak about your personal experience. It's not to lose faith. It's a political tool. But if you pressure them, as you pressured South Africa, they will do everything. And for the benefit not only of the Palestinians, but for the benefit of the Jews who live in this country.
desde la guerra de los seis días hasta nuestros días. Los números que tenemos del 2006 son eh, aproximadamente eh, unas 350 casas fueron demolidas en West Bank eh, y unas 100 casas en Jerusalén Oriental. De estas 350 casas de las que estoy hablando, las de West Bank y las de Jerusalén, no son casas de terroristas ni casas de criminales, es, son casas de gente humilde, común y corriente, cuyo único pecado ha sido el de construir una casa en forma ilegal en su tierra, en su propia tierra, después de que el Estado les prohibió construir. En cualquier lugar del mundo una persona va, quiere construir una casa, va, pide una licencia y si cumple los requisitos el gobierno se la dará. Acá un palestino, la, la, la posibilidad que tiene de recibir licencia es sumamente baja, sumamente baja. Are you going to demolish the house? Uh, I don't know. What do I say? Yeah. I'm only working. Are you proud for you your job? No, 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 no. I'm from Peace Now. First time I do this. Uh, it's because uh, they don't pay for uh, the house. It's not enough to demolish the house because they don't pay, no? Uh, like this in Israel. Maybe it's Israel. Uh, this side is not Israel, you know? Now yes. del pueblo judío, no solamente de Israel, sino del pueblo judío, sea dirigida por un alcalde.
no recibieron licencia, al igual que todas estas casas. Y el motivo por el cual no reciben licencia es ese. Mira ahí en, le, en la colina, en la punta de la colina, esa hay una base militar. Par ceux qui ont créé ces traces. 